gentlemen of the internet. That's right, you saw the title correctly. Today, we're eating meatball subs from a Quiznos. They're still around. We love these subs! Cause they are good to us! Yeah, and we're also doing a little shout out today for Cameo to remind you guys that we do have a Cameo page. If you want to get a shout out from us, just go to cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese and we can shout out anything. Birthdays, promotions, whatever you'd like, just uh, go check it out and uh, hit us up and we'll get you hooked up. All right, guys. Uh, I'm excited to see if you guys still have a Quiznos in your town. Let's eat it. I haven't had it in 20 years. Let's go. Yeah, great. Thank you. Have a good day. Literally putting them in the bag. Wow. Two meatball subs, eight inches each. Quiznos acquired jump cut. Quiznos chunk! Quiznos. Toast. Okay, let's go in for a Corey Wagner. That's him. Second angle. All right, let's see. Paper's ripping. Busting a little, little bit. Let's see what we got. Boom. Oh, how do I know which one is which? One's jalapeno cheddar, one's rosemary. I don't know. We're gonna have to maybe just do an eye test, huh? What do we think before I just start finger groping through that? <laughs> oh, jalapeno cheddar. Cool. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there's the bread, and uh, if we open her up, one of these ways. Boom! Cheesy meatball wow. goodness. That Look looks at that good. bad boy. I think it looks better than I thought it was going to. Yeah. No, it looks good. Nice and toasted. Yeah, I think their thing is mm -mm, toasty. That was their tagline, yeah. I believe. I don't know if it still is. Quiznos, mm -mm 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 -mm. toasty. So this place like filled a great niche back in the day. It was before Subway did hot sandwiches. Oh. They were like they beat them to that. Then Subway caught up. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> oh wow, look at that bread. Yeah, that looks good, right? I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this cheese pull here. Yeah. All right, guys, my bread looking good as well. I got the jalapeno cheddar. All right, a couple of meatball subs for the first time. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's so good. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that. The toastedness is really nice. Like, mm -hmm. it does have the look and texture almost as like a local sandwich to me. Like oh, that okay. looks like it looks like a more of a local place than it does. Oh yeah, like, the look. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. I think meatball subs in general at fast food places are like pretty close to the real thing for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. The one thing I say I like about I'll, I'll say I like about Subway more than this. I like that the Subway has the closed bread. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. I've already lost meatballs. That's a good point. And they're like falling out of this a little bit. It's just a messiness factor, but flavor-wise it's pretty close. Yeah, it's really not bad at all, but that is so true. I didn't think about that about Subways. Mm -hmm. So these were $9.50 for an eight inch sub. I'm assuming that's close to Subway. They're I not do doing too the now. $5 anymore. Right. So probably. I'm gonna real quick just because I'm curious, and it will kind of, I think, kind of affect my score, because I am comparing it pretty much to that, of what it would cost for a, and granted, you can only get six and 12 there. Mm -hmm. Is this because it's like on special today or what? On the app, a 12 inch meatball marinara is $6. Oh, that might be it. Might be a daily thing, or maybe that sandwich is really that cheap? Wow. You know how some, like they even have it, certain days. Sure, it's like there's, meatball Mondays yeah, there's, or yeah, something. Right. It's not really like that memorable though. No. You know, like it's fine. It's a good lunch, but I'm not gonna be like telling people, oh, you know what's a hidden gem? Yeah. Is the meatball at Quiznos. That's fine, and as a connoisseur of the Subway meatball, mm -hmm. the Subway blows us out of water. Taste-wise? Yeah, taste-wise, the sauce is a little bit better at Subway. Mm -hmm. uh, the bread, I think this bread, like the bread looks amazing. It does. I thought it was gonna be crunchier and toastier when I bit into it, right. and it kind of, was it? It's kind of like I don't know. It just I think the br the bread was a little, maybe it's just because I'm used to it too. So that could also be it. I have just no. This is kind of bland. Yeah, it's kind of bland. So I don't know. I do like the amount of cheese, which kind of makes it a little bit messier. But mm -hmm. whatever. You got to take the good and the bad with the cheese. Right. Kind of like us as cheesers, you know. <laughs> right. Take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. The hotter sixer sauce made it a hell of a lot better. As it does everything. Just had a meatball by itself. Almost exact same. I don't mm -hmm. think there's any difference in the meatballs. They're tender. They're tender, they're, tender. they're tasty. Mm -hmm. and the bread and the sauce, I think, are just a slightly bit, and it's not even that big of a difference. It's like by like a, like a smidgen. This is like a good skeleton of a sandwich. Like the bread's pretty good. It, good it almost just feels like it needs more in it to make it more flavorful. Mm. Like the sauce itself and the cheese are good, but it's not like hitting me with flavor. 
Almost feels like it's all the makings of almost getting there. Mm -hmm. Take that for what it is. Oh man, this this part, the only the end of the bread for some reason got extra toasted. That tastes good. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if it looks toasted, but. I think they have an option where you can do uh, the bread well done. Mm. Like you can That'd it, probably be for you me. Can keep it in there an extra minute or two. I think that would be the move. Yeah. What are the toppings that you can put on here? Like I know at Subway I get to like, I put green peppers on there and jalapenos and blah, blah, blah. Yep. What can you do here? Is there this an is option the, like this that? This is the thing that was so wild to me. It was all extra. Oh, really? And obviously at Subway. Maybe they just need the money. They're not doing so hot. That's just crazy to me though. Like that's these things selling selling point is that you can customize it to the, like the nth degree yeah, and for no more money. <clears throat> yeah. Well, the good news is they their spokesperson hasn't diddled any kids that I know of. None. Zero. Well, that's a big that's a big point uh, added for me. <laughs> Excited to see your score based on that. <laughs> uh, I said to Corey, they currently have a lobster and seafood scampi bake. And then also a lobster just sub. Yeah, that's terrifying. That's wild to me. That's very terrifying. That's ballsy to do that. I have, are there people going in there and ordering that? Sure are. There gotta be. I mean, I eat the most processed, the chicken at Subway. <laughs> chicken. But I still eat it. It's still good, I don't know, you know, whatever. So I wonder if the lobster is the same, like. I'm sure it's not that bad. Once you can get past it, you just, it's all about indoctrination with these types of places. Yes. If you get the kids eating it young enough when they don't care, like try getting a 35 year old adult to eat Quiznos lobster meat for the first time, like good luck. Yeah. You know, but. I think a fish fillet would even sound kind of gross to me if I didn't know it all. Oh, as an adult, There's such dude. a nostalgia to it that there's no grossness to me. Yeah, uh, me too, 100%. So yeah, look at this, like I click on this sub, right? It's 50 cents for all the vegetables. Oh, that's wild. Bacon is a dollar. Like, which I understand the, the proteins, but banana peppers are 50 cents. Yeah, hot jardinera. I put banana peppers on all, like on my meatball sub every time at Subway. I can't even believe that's the case. Ask her if she got the lobster. She just walked out of there. She's, she's FaceTiming. She's FaceTiming in a Quiznos. How did someone continue to be friends with them as they FaceTimed on the way into the Quiznos? <laughs> I would have had to hang up on them. There's yeah. no way if I was video uh, chatting with you, you would have allowed that. Yeah, our are you in a Quiznos? Is, friendship is over. I also like how I tried to pretend like my gross ass wouldn't have absolutely tried the lobster from here. <laughs> I right. definitely would get it. I would definitely get it. Oh man. I mean, it's not bad. It's really not. It's just there's no wow factor. There's no wow, yeah. And I think Subway's is like so ingrained into my brain of being like a decent sandwich yeah. that I don't even look at it as on a blank slate. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I've known it for too long. Yeah, that's true. I used to love quizzes in high school. You know, Subway was five bucks. This was always like, you know, three or four bucks more. So in high school, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Like if you can get something cheaper where we're from, you always got the cheaper thing mm -hmm. if you were even eating out. I went out, the first time I had the classic Italian, like the toasted Italian sandwich from here, blew my mind. The like Italian dressing they use, their bottles had these like three prongs on them and the sauce would come out in strips like that. I thought this place was the fanciest sub sandwich shop of all time. Can we ask these people today for the comment their thoughts of Quiznos? Let's hear if it. If they eat it, what do you thought? Did you used to eat it? Are there ones still open near you? I want to know the the multiverse of Quiznos in this world. So comment that. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. We have new videos Monday through Thursday. Bonus videos on Friday if you're a Patreon. But uh, nevertheless, let's go ahead and rate that sandwich against other meatball subs. Uh, out of five. Oh, that's from James Bond. Q. Yeah, that's the smart guy. Q's the builder. Out of five Q's from the James Bond franchise, how many Q's from the James Bond franchise do you give this eight-inch meatball sub from Quiznos, Corey? It's pretty good, but price was took a hit. If it's that much more than Subway, and Subway's giving you more food, that's ridiculous. Subway's tasted better. Uh, the sauce, the, the bread was better, the meat was about the same, and the fact that you can't add anything on without it costing more money is ridiculous. So all in all, not that great of an experience, although it was edible. You yeah. should still get it if it's the only thing around you. Um, I would highly suggest getting the Subway over that. I'm gonna give it a 2.6. I'm just a scooch higher. Um, I think that's decent. It's just like, that has gotta be like the last resort meatball <laughs> sub for yeah. you to get. Like, I, there's not too many meatballs drone. Just in the middle of this intersection. Uh, who's How can I get that footage, <laughs> <laughs> sir? Uh, this is like kind of it's, it was this division and wells. Like it's kind of just mm -hmm. flying there. Anyways, um, I just think that like there's there's cheaper at Subway and kind of better. So like this is like if you're near Quiznos, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go 2.8. I thought those pigeons were about to run into it. It's crazy how birds like do approach the drone. Like yeah. they do it for mine too. Like they want to fly close to it and see what it is. Yeah. They're curious cats. Oh! Thought it was about to lose a wing. I know, right? Anyways, um, we're gonna go find out where this drone cinematographer is and we'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget we've got the new merchandise, the hat, the shirt, the notebook, and the patch. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the show. Let's talk Quiznos. Goodbye.